All right, welcome back. All right, you can see what um, the game is from the title. Kevin Mulgridge, this is your bloody fault. Um, <laughs> on my recent video about the top 10 worst ZX Spectrum games I owned, I um, posed a question um, asking people to share their experiences of what the worst pile of shit they ever um, spent money on was. And Kevin came up with this. Now, I knew that I had this, but I'd never played it. Alien Kill from Mastertronic in 1984. It's kind of like a breakout stroke Arkanoid sort of type game where you have got to um, uh, blow up a wall and kill the alien at the top, um, but there's a barrier in between. This game is, uh, I know it's only a 199 special, but bloody hell. Um, if you're not familiar with it, then um, just watch this. Right, the controls are X and C for left and right, space for fire, and I'm only going um, on the easy level because I'm absolute twat at uh, playing games, as you know. Right, here we go. Right, so I've got to try and... That blue thing is uh, the monster's sort of defences, um, and I've got to kill that blue one up the top, the alien. And that sort of thing going left and right is his tra whatever it was called, something idiom barrier, whatever. Now this game is a tr oh, it's 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 terrible. I got him. That's the first time I've actually got him. And I've been playing this game for about an hour, um, and it's been about 59 minutes and 30 seconds too long. Now this game is atrocious. And, uh, you know, you're up against the time limit, and um, it ain't very forgiving, so let's try that again. Um, now, are you familiar with this game? Did you have it at all? Um, having seen what it's like, are you, uh, are you of a mind to try it out? Now, there were some great, great budget games, and I appreciate this was really sort of early on in um, the life of, uh, like, uh, budget labels, etc., but even so, it's fucking hopeless. Having said that, it's still better than anything I could ever program, but, you know, it's still way better than anything I could ever program, but then, you know, I'm not, I've never pretended um, I could. And, you know, someone I appreciate, as to see the, the time limit is just, um, a real, real, real pain in the backside. Oh, no, I'm on level 11. Oh, God. I don't even think there is a level 11. Um, ah. Now, the shame of it is, <laughs> is this game loaded first time. Um, and I bought it off a colleague at work together with um, her Spectrum that had been in her loft for or her parents' loft, uh, to be more accurate, for donkey's years. Um, so it hadn't been played for, well, since she was a girl. She couldn't even remember this one herself. Um, so her words were, it can't have been very good then, because she remembered the other ones, like um, Attic Attack, etc. Um, this, oh, this game is just... Ah! It's just crap. Even if you'd only spent two quid on it, if two quid was all the pocket money you got, you know, you'd you'd have been crying um, into your Spectrum keyboard having seen this. I mean, look, the graphics are ropey. Um, come on, the graph yeah, the graphics are bad. There's the sound is bad. Um, the game's just bad. I said that doesn't seem to be doing too, too badly now. Um, yeah, this is this is just uh, you know. Did you spend two quid on this game? If so, how much play did you get out of it? I'm suspecting not a lot. Now, obviously, we know that um, eventually some absolutely fantastic games were released on the the, the budget labels, not just. You know, Mastertronic, there's Firebird, um, Codemasters, etc. Some, you know, some classic games that, you know, it, on a lot of occasions exceeded um, f the quality of full price releases. And 
still remain and are regarded as absolute classics today. Things like the Finders Keepers, the Magic Knight games, the Dizzy games, the Simulator series. Um, come here, you bastard. Oh, you're just going to stay there. Right, okay. Got him just in time there. So you see I'm sort of like running out of time, so this game's going to be over soon. Um, it doesn't give you any, you know, you don't, your time doesn't, sort of like regenerate you don't get any kind of time bonus um, it just ends when the time runs out thanks Kevin thank you for that that's 10 minutes of my life I'm never gonna get back that's 10 minutes of your lives watching me um, play that abysmal abysmal game um, thanks ever so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please let me know if you wish to subscribe to the channel please do so it's gonna be great to see you um, if you do subscribe as ever please um, join in the conversations etc let's have some fun along the way thanks ever so much take care and goodbye